turn to 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy chapter 3. Turn to 2 Timothy chapter number 3. The greatest thing in the world is to be saved and what? Know it. No Dax there just got back from Texas and he won a bunch of races out there and all kind of what if you if you won any money you, you have to give that to the church. Uh, but he won a bunch of races out there and everything. But the greatest thing in the world is to be saved and know it. Ain't that right? To be saved and know it. Because it don't matter what you do in this world, if you die without the Lord and you're not saved. You done wasted your life, buddy. So look at 2 Timothy chapter 3, 2 Timothy 3, verse 1, and I'm going to show you something tonight. This know also. All right, we need to settle down. Everybody get it? Settle down, okay. That in the last days, perilous times shall come. That word perilous means dangerous. And we are definitely living in some dangerous times. Very, very, very dangerous times that we live in. Now tonight I'm going to show you in just a minute what, what the Bible says about this. And uh, I want you to uh, pay real close attention because you're growing up in a world that's really, really, really messed up. And I want you to help me with the lights back here in just a minute, Jim. And I'm going to go through this video right quick tonight, skip some of it, and show you what the Bible says. The Bible talks about the last days and how you can know that you're in the last days. And so tonight you're going to see that in just a minute. And I'd like, I'm going to make just a few comments this evening and see what the Word of God says about it, okay? Uh, things are not like they used to be. Perilous times are definitely here. Definitely, okay? All right, Jim, go ahead. Now, the, the Bible said that in the last days, perilous. Remember, that word perilous means dangerous. Dangerous times. Dangerous times are here upon us tonight. Dangerous times to be a teenager. Dangerous times to be in middle school. Dangerous times to be in high school, for sure. Dangerous times, y'all. Dangerous times. The Bible said perilous times would come. I say tonight, perilous times are here. Now, let's look and see what I mean by that, okay? Let's look and see what I mean by perilous times are here. Watch this. They'll put you out of the synagogue. The time cometh that they kill you. Also, is that in a Christian holocaust is in our by day. It's getting worse and worse. More children are being beheaded. You're, you're startling me with the severity of what you're describing. You say they are beheading children? They are systematically beheading children. And to ISIS, ISIL is using social media to gain followers. Congressman Peter, American citizen of your country. Fled villages like... Look here what the Bible says. Here's what the Bible says. There'll be a mark. They're killing Christians in other countries. That lady sang that song a minute ago. I've heard how Christians long ago, they stood the test. Listen, they're doing that now. They're doing it now in other countries. But look at this. The microchips will be implanted into healthy people sooner than you think. Now, at the youth rally, at the youth rally, we are going to do a brand new updated the latest message on these microchips. The microchip eventually will be in your hand or in your forehead, and you can't buy or sell anything. You know why I believe? I remember I used to think, man, how's people going to take the mark of the beast? See, people ain't going to do that. People's going to say, no, you ain't putting that thing in me. And then, you know, it hit me now. People's got their, everything on their watch, or like a phone. Uh, you can send videos, you can get on YouTube, you can get on Google, you can send pictures and stuff just on your watch. The very next step is in the hand. They're already talking about it. They're already cars. People already have cars right now. I'm going to show you at the youth rally where you just go out in the morning, wave your hand across it, the car unlocks, the car starts. You don't have to worry about losing your keys. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, losing your purse, your pocketbook. 
It's all done just by the wave of your hand. There wasn't no such thing as that just a short few years ago. Now watch this tonight. They'll be implanted into healthy people sooner. Birth control options was technology in women in 2016. The device would cost around a box and a new credit card marked with a microchip. Credit card companies are making the move to protect all of us from hackers. Well, credit card companies say that a microchip on your card is a better way to store your information and to keep you safe. What's a that? lot of these big name retailers are switching over to the microchip scanners. You say you think something? most big all yet? Well, I think they're switching over to it. I think it's going to be a process. That's that. That's say that Target store back there, they're switching over to a microchip way of paying for your groceries, paying for your food. It won't be long till you'll be seeing it in the stores. They're already seeing it in a lot of places. How that you can just walk in the store, get your groceries, and just walk right out. It scans your hand. You don't have to stand in line. Bam. Takes it out of your checking account just like that. We are moving toward the mark of the beast. Nobody. And let me say something to all you adults here tonight. Don't, don't, please don't tell me this stuff of, well, it was bad when we was growing up. No, it wasn't nothing like it is today. There wasn't no such thing as this today. You, listen, this transgender stuff and all the stuff, little boys thinking they're girls and girls thinking they're boys and all of that, I'll get to that in a minute. But let me, let me tell you something right now, boy. If God made you a boy, you're supposed to be a boy. And you're supposed to stay a boy. And you will stand before God at judgment as a boy. If God made you a girl, you're supposed to stay a girl. You're supposed to be a girl. You're supposed to be glad you're a girl and be the best girl you can be. You know what they think I am for saying that now? They think I'm uh, mean and sexist and chauvinist and all kind of stuff. You know what we call that? Common sense. Say amen right there. I'm telling you, brother, when, 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 listen, I went to school with these bunch of redneck boys up there in Nebo, and if you could have went to school and said, I feel like a girl today, so I get to girl, go on a girl's trip, every one of them would have felt like a girl. Amen. How dumb can you get? Watch this tonight. I want to show you the mark of the beast coming. See this? That's the 666 sign. They say it means three-pointer. That's just one meaning. See them three sixes? That's the 666 sign. It's coming over the bad, darkened right eye. You don't know that? You're fixing to get educated. What's the dark right eye? See that? See that? They don't even know what they're doing. They don't even realize that. That right there, the snakes in the head, like the demon spirits coming out of a person. The one eye in the pyramid. The pyramid. Did you know when this, when this is off the subject a little bit, but did you know when, uh, when they, they found out those UFO things and they found out all those little little symbols on them. One of them was a, was a uh, triangle, like a triangle like that. And this with the big eye, the all-seeing eye, it's the one eye of the Antichrist. See the dark right eye? See the, dark, see the 666 sign? See, they're whipping it up, y'all. Whipping it up, y'all. Get ready to take you. Ain't that something? See the one eye? See the upside down cross? See the circle? There it says, Jesus saves, I spend. With a dollar bill sign over the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. And they go out of their way to cuss him, mock his name, make fun of him, curse the name of Jesus Christ. Boy, if there's ever been a time we need youth rally, it's now, y'all. God help us tonight, it's now. Parents, I need you, I need your support in our church more than we've ever needed it. And we need prayers more than we've ever needed prayers. Not less. It ain't no time to back off. It ain't no time to come to church less, for heaven's sake. It's the time to get together and pray that God will do something for our kids. Look at that. The end is at hand. That's his t shirt. See the mark and the all seeing eye? In the right hand. 
or in the forehead like the Bible says. Ain't that something? He's got the old, old, them crazy rappers. Ain't got enough sense coming out of the rain. And got that sign on their shirt. The end is at hand. They're all working for the same master. Don't even realize it. Look at that. The end is at hand. You think they won't take the mark of the beast? Look at these tattoos. Why do you think tattoos are so popular all of a sudden? All of a sudden, everybody wants a tattoo. Like, you know why? The devil's getting us ready. He's preparing us, getting us ready for the mark of the beast coming real soon. My, my. One guy told me, he said, Brother Danny, he said, man, you really got me when you preached on that all-seeing eye. He said, I got that on my back. And I said, why? He said, I don't know. I just thought it was cool. Man. Didn't even know what it meant. And that's what's going to happen, kids. And the devil takes it for granted that we, he's going to take advantage of our ignorance. So you're dumb and you don't know what you're doing. Next thing you know, you're smoking pot. Next thing you know, you're getting drunk. Next thing you know, you're, uh, you're committing fornication. You're committing sin and the devil's got you. And the next thing you know, you're falling right in line. Drugs, alcohol, sex, drugs, and rock and roll, brother. Like the, devil say, like the devil's crowd say, that's what'll get you. All right? Watch it. See that eye of Horus? There's tattoos on people. My, my. Throwing up them signs, you see them? This, that. See that? I wonder what makes people do oh, that. Watch the rappers, watch them folks. It's scary. This is Beyonce and her testimony. And in her testimony, she admits, she actually said, she said, I'm a shy person. And she said, I remember I lifted up my hands like this and something came into me. And she, they call that uh, Sasha Fierce. She believes that Sasha Fierce is her alter ego. And her alter ego uh, gives her the ability to perform. It's just like when a preacher, when a preacher goes over here and he, he goes over here and he says, Lord, fill me with the Holy Ghost, fill me with the Holy Ghost. And the power of God comes in a preacher. They get out somewhere and they lift up their hands like that and something gets in them. It's the unholy ghost. So it's a spirit of the devil, and they don't even know what it is. I'm not kidding you, y'all. This is real. This is reality. Listen to her say it in her own words. Raise my hands up, and it was kind of the first time I, I felt something else come into me. Did you hear that? I felt something else come into me. Ain't that something? I don't want him to leave, but he can't. He's here for a reason. People have brought him out. People conjured him up. Now he won't leave. There's Nicki Minaj saying, that spirit that's in me, people conjured him up. And now he won't leave. Can't get rid of him. Do you know what you can do? You can sit around in your room at night and play with your phone and get on, watch TV, or get on Netflix, and get on scary movies or dirty movies, and you can sit there in your room, and a spirit going to come in your room. Amen. You say, Brother Danny, you shouldn't tell kids that. It's the truth. And I'm talking young people. Amen. 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 I'm telling you tonight. Listen to this. Your old girls lured a fellow classmate into the woods where they stabbed her 19 times, trying to sacrifice her to Slender Man a mythological character found in amateur online horror stories thinking that I'm an impressed slender man comes out of the woods and kids see him and talk to him it's a demonic spirit it's all over YouTube and they make deals with slender man and you know what slender man tells them you kill somebody you sacrifice somebody you get to come and live with me in my mansion who's that sound like the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, in my father's house are many mansions. Slender man who would then invite the girls to come and live in his mansion. The girls...
Ain't that something? Look at that. Called Satan. Satan. Reckless. Seen here wearing Satan. a shirt that's Unbelievable. Says, Satan loves me with an upside down cross. The most blasphemous, ungodly thing you can do is, the cross, is turn the cross upside down. The cross of Jesus Christ is what keeps me and you from burning in hell fire. And they turn it over and say, step on it, spit on it. That's this world. There's the upside down cross. There's the upside down cross. The upside down cross with a 666. Wonder why? Flight. Iron Maidens. 666. Three sixes. Three sixes. It's everywhere you look. These people don't even believe the Bible. They don't even know why they're doing it. You know what the Bible says? Let me tell you what the Bible says. It says the mystery of iniquity doth already work. That means the spirit of the Antichrist is working in the world right now. Only he who now letteth, that means hinder, will let hinder until he be taken out of the way. There's only one person, he, who's big and strong enough to hinder the Antichrist from being uh, revealed, and that's the Holy Spirit. There are a lot of preachers here this on the internet that disagree with that, but you, I mean, you might as well learn the truth sometime or another. The Holy Spirit's the only person that could possibly be. Nobody else can hold back the work of the devil. And he's taken out of the way, brother. Then that wicked shall be revealed. Look at that. On stage. See that sign there? That's two fingers up representing the horns, three down to deny the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. I can show you that on their album. It's Hollywood. It's rap. It's MTV. It's VH1. My, 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 kids. Look at it tonight. Playing his guitar. Now, let me show you what the Bible says. Woe to the idle shepherd. That's a prophecy of the Antichrist. He leaves the flock. The sword will be upon his arm, his right arm, and upon his right eye. His arm shall be cleaned right up, and his right eye shall be utterly darkened. So if the spirit of Antichrist is already working, they're getting ready to you to receive a leader of the world who uses just one eye, and it's his left eye. How many of y'all, some of you, you kids don't remember this, but back in the 80s, someone, there was a show on TV called The Six Million Dollar Man. Six million dollars, not seven, not nine, six, six. And he had a real strong left arm and a real strong left eye and a weak right arm and a weak right eye. Isn't that weird? How, I mean, they don't know that's in the Bible. They don't even know that. Look at this. Look at the dark right eye. Watch it tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Marilyn Manson. But do you hear me tonight? If you're not saved tonight, I'd run to Jesus Christ. The Lord could come back tonight. He could come back tonight, girls. He could come back tonight, boys. He could come back before I get through preaching. He's coming one of these days. He's coming in power and in glory. He's coming to take His children out of this world. He's come to take us out. Thank God. I'm glad I'm ready. An Hope you're ready here. To awaken dormant aspects of the human. What we're waging is a cultural war right now. He said, look at here. Look at this. The weird right eye. David Bowie who just died not long ago. Notice the dark right out. Once in a while, they'll do the left. But about nine times out of ten, they don't even know why they're doing it. They don't even understand what, the, what the, the spirit is inside of them that's causing them to do that. My, my, mamas and daddies, maybe some of you need to rededicate your life. You know, I found out that, that kids... Kids have the same attitude toward church. Usually their parents do. If parents don't take it serious, kids don't usually take it serious. Look at this cartoon 
were a pyramid of all things. That's a Tom and Jerry cartoon from a long time ago with an with a all-seeing eye lights up with the little snakes on it. Weird, huh? Look at this. South Park. See the all-seeing eye. The all-seeing eye. The pyramid sign. That's the pyramid sign right there, see? You see, all, you see them doing that at concerts and stuff? The sign of the pyramid. Where is Lucifer? I'm going to... You know, I get a little bit mad. Listen to her. She said, I swear to Lucifer. Watch it tonight. She said, I swear to Lucifer. I, she's going to have you fired if you didn't do what she's going to tell you to do. That was Lady Doo-Doo. She said, I'm going to have you fired. And I swear to Lucifer. And I'm like, if you don't get this right now, I swear to Lucifer, I'm going to... Hear that? Yeah, I get a little bit. Sleep in the room with her and she's tortured. Satan. Satan. So, Looky here. The Lord said, now this is what Christians go through in other countries, y'all, for just going to church and serving God. Kingdom against kingdom. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. And it shall turn me. Settle it therefore in your hearts. Then no. You think it'll ever come here? I don't know. But they're already doing it in other countries. Be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the God, earth. Help us distress of nations with perplexity. The sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the dark. Donald Trump's not going to save us, y'all. The Republicans and Democrats not going to save us. The world's getting worse and worse and worse. And if you're here tonight, you don't know for a fact you're a Christian. Look, that the Lord's sending warnings. There's floods like we've never seen. There's heat like we've never seen. There's cold like we've never seen. It's like God is warning and warning and warning. What do we do? Spit in his face. Loafer on his day, get drunk, shack up, do whatever we want to do, and spit in the face of God. God help us tonight. Look at the look at the fish kill. Flash floods. Look at that tonight, ladies and gentlemen. They say we've never seen anything like the earthquakes, the shaking. My, 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 my. Think about that tonight. The aftershocks. Look at it tonight. You think this world isn't in bad shape? You think this old world ain't bad? You just ain't paying attention, buddy. You just ain't paying attention. Give me volume. Watch it tonight. This is a witch. This man's preaching on the street and she goes and tells him. She said, you don't want to feel my wrath. I'll call up my, my sources like Satan and everything and I'll kill you. Don't mess with me or my children. You do not want to kill my wife. Do not. Tom, you're You're preaching here. You had everything this world I admire that young man right there. Got enough to go. Shut up. Listen to this little girl. She's been raised in the wrong kind of family. Listen to her mock the preacher on the street. 
before it's too late. We can all be saved tonight, and I pray that you turn and repent before it's too late. Turn from your sin. What is sin? Well, God gave his commandments so that we could see our sin. That little girl's going to stand in front of God one of these days, y'all. She'll give an account. You saw oh, she's too little. She knows exactly what she's doing. She's full of the devil. Got it from mom and daddy. And see, because of our sin, that we need to turn to God. Should be quiet. We need to turn to God before it's too late, just like the rich man. The rich man didn't turn to God, and it was too late for him when he stood before God in heaven. And in hell, he lift up his eyes. There, don't think that your own good works will get you to heaven. Nothing will get us to heaven but Jesus. What's this woman spit on the preacher who's trying to preach? If, if a homosexual activist was out giving a speech and Christians spit on them, they'd be charged and put in jail. But you know what they say about them? Well, he shouldn't be out there then. That shows you the spirit of this world. Jesus Christ, you need to believe on the Lord. That's your only hope. Your only hope is Christ. Your only hope is Christ. The Holy Spirit. Tall, pure granite monument used to look like. This is how workers found it today, shortly after a man Broke turned the himself commandments. in, confessing to the crime. But Run a car through him. Here's what's happening to the world this, this evening, y'all. Here's what's happening in California, New York, Florida, Texas, Alabama, uh, and, and Wisconsin, and Wyoming, and Idaho, and, and Michigan, and Pennsylvania, Delaware. Here's what's happening. People are running 90 miles an hour into hell, falling off into the bottomless pit. They're dying every day. They're dying like flies, falling without God, and never get out, and they burn in hell. Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And you don't get no water. And you don't get no help. And you don't get no prayers answered. You can't pray then. You got to pray now. You can't pray then. It's too late. You can't pray after you're already gone. You pray now while you're still alive. That's when you pray. You witness now. You ask people to come to church now. It'll be too late then. You could die right now. There's not a one of us in here tonight knows for sure that we'll get home. Me, you, no. you get out there on that interstate. The first car that comes your way could be like this. You don't know. You just don't know. You don't know, y'all. You don't know when you'll die without God. You know what somebody said one time? They said, you shouldn't preach on hell to those kids. It'll scare them and give them nightmares. Let, let me ask you something. Is there a hell? Yeah. If there is one, they need to know about it. Yeah. Amen? If there's not, we ought to shut the doors on this place. If there is, they need, I want my kids to know there's a hell. I want them to know there's a terrible place they'll go when they're not saved and die without God. I want them to know. I want yours to know too. You ain't helping them by lying to them. Oh my. It's a place of fire. It's a place of torment. It's a place where there's weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth forever and ever and ever and ever. And you don't get out. You don't get out. You don't get out. You don't get out. Forever. Never and ever and ever. So, that's all you ever hear and see. This Desi's coming. I'm going to show you tonight what happened 2,000 years ago before you was ever born. Jesus. God's son got a big old heavy cross on his shoulders. And they beat nails in his hands and in his feet so that you could be saved. Sure did. Sure did. 
I wish I'd got saved when I was y'all's age. I was 18. That's awful late. I was 18. You know what he did? He carried the cross. Endured the pain. Put up with the suffering. So that you could go to heaven and be a witness to your friends. How about it tonight, young people? Let me ask you a question. Could there be someone here tonight and say, Brother Danny, I want to be ready for the youth rally. I do. I want to be on fire. I want to bring my friends. I want to bring my family. So I want to know that Jesus died for them so they wouldn't have to go to hell. I want them to know that Jesus died for them. That old cross went and he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Thank God for me and y'all. Hallelujah. I want you to bow your head, please. Every head bowed and every eye closed. Just one, the middle one right there, Jimmy, the middle. Push right the middle one. God speak to your heart here this evening. The middle push light. That's it. Every head's bowed, never eyes closed. And I wonder tonight, is there be young people here tonight, mamas, teenagers, maybe mamas and kids, maybe daddies and mamas, that just slip right out of your seat. Make your way down here this evening. And let's do business with the Lord. Come on. Come on right now. Come on. Somebody come and pray with this lady. Others come and come on, kids. Just get up and come right now. Come on, boys. If you want to come, don't you worry about your friends. Don't wait and see if somebody else is going to come or not come. I want some of you adults come pray with all these coming here. Some, some, somebody come pray with all these kids coming here. That God's, was, we need some adults, please. Uh, some adults pray with all these kids. I don't know if someone's saved or not. Some of you men, please. Some of you ladies, please. We got some girls up here praying. You let God speak to your heart. Come on right now. Come on. Come on, kids, right now. Amen. You say, oh, you people shouldn't be scared. Yes, sir, they should too. The Bible said, by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. That's right. That's right. You let God speak to your heart. Is ladies, is there a lady here that can pray with somebody? Amen. Let God speak to your heart here tonight, y'all. Let God speak to your heart. Come on. Come on. How about it, mamas? How about it? Would there be a, a, an adult here tonight and say, you know what, Brother Danny? I messed around here, and it's three weeks of the youth rally, and I'm backslidden. I'm going to get on fire for God, and I'm going to get, I'm going to get on, I'm going to get in this youth rally, and I'm going to enjoy it, and I'm going to get blessed, and I'm going to bring people, and I'm going to get on fire. It's youth rally time. I don't want to be backslidden. Come on, right now. Come on, right now. Come on. Come on, right now. Amen. Come on, right now. Come on, right now. Come on, teenager. Be a good time for you. Be a good time for you. Be a good time for you, right now. Amen. Amen. Be a good time for you right now. Be a good time for you right now. Would you come? Come on now. Somebody's dealing with all these. I don't know who all's getting saved or getting help, getting blessed, whatever's happening up here tonight. Amen. Amen. I wish somebody had scared the devil out of me when I was eight, 10 years old. Might have saved me a lot of trouble. I never seen nothing like this. Never heard nothing like this. Amen, boys. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's do business with the Lord tonight. That's what we're here for. We're here to do business with God. Have you done it? You say, well, my friends at school ain't going to like You're going to lose them anyway. You're going to lose them anyway. What good are they going to do you? Huh? How about it tonight? How about it tonight? How about it tonight? You let God help you tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Say, so boys, pray, y'all. Just pray as long as you need to. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. Let's do business tonight.
Thank God. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Amen. 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 All right. Give me just one more light, Jim. Thank God. I hope you're ready to meet the Lord tonight. We're just getting started for the youth rally. This is just the preliminaries. This is just the preliminaries. It's coming on strong, y'all. Three weeks from Friday. Now, I want y'all. Y'all got any friends? Okay. Got any enemies? Bring them. You don't bring your enemies. Bring your friends and bring your enemies to the youth rally. Make them promise. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. Have your whole row full. And then go sing in the choir. Don't sit down when your friends are there. Go sing in the choir and get a blessing and do it. All right? Did somebody pray with somebody who just got saved tonight? Did somebody pray with somebody who just got saved tonight? I think most of y'all have been saved. I need to know if somebody prayed with somebody who just got saved tonight. Okay? You're making sure. You make sure that you're saved. And you say, well, how do I know that, preacher? Get down when you go to bed tonight and say, Lord, I want you to be real to me. I want you to work in my life. I want to live for you and pray to him and mean it, and he'll bless you for it. Okay? Amen. All right. Give me the